The air hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision, like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Balda, broken and beaten, held captive by his suitor. I, I tried to save him, but I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this in the fold of my clothing. Balder also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freak visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletoe bush. And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor. But all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this. If you would know more, then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. Run from the fire. You must be coming.
Are you well? Javi's not well. A passing weakness. There's nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. They kidnapped my son, murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. Oh, forgive me. You lifted me from that fly-blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on. Your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why, well, you have seen the suffering the Muspels brought to Svartalfheim. Fire and ruin and slaughter. They made wasteland of our green meadows and enslave those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I'm not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return to him. Rid us of Surk, and you might save us nonetheless. That's why we offer you our gift. Look upon the splendor of our halls, Javi. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the nine worlds, the crafters of Svatalfheim have no equal. <sighs> a moose bell! Oh, hammer and tongs, they're here! They're looking for the gift. This dolt dares to steal a gift intended for me? Javi, you have to stop them! With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. around here. Hopefully with better luck than that moose bell. It must be around here somewhere. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. It's somewhere right about here. Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving.
Best keep moving. It's the Astier! Sound the alarm! Here they come! Protect us, Hubby! Spawn of Asgard! Powerful incentive to kill the enemies of the dwarves. Aye, it's almost as if we planned it or something. The door's blocked! Barred from the other side! Calm yourself, Sparrowheart. Harvey will find us a way around. magic will run dry if you do not replenish it. Look around. See if there's something here that will help you to do so. The bracer grows weak. Wait, what did I, say? I can sense the bracer speaking to this shrine. As if they are alive to one another. We must hurry. If the enemy found these hidden halls, they can find the shelter. Shelter? A sanctuary. A secret hideaway. Only the dwarves know. When the invasion began, our people took refuge in such places. But the threat of discovery means we're always on the move. Holstein and I left our own shelter in search of resources. When we returned... Everyone was gone. Leaving nothing but a secret sign to show us how to follow. That shelter is somewhere nearby. We'd better find our companions before the moose bells do. Another door! We don't deserve this! Those flowers, like the shrine they call out to the brazer. All their voices are but faint. The highway always finds a way. They're mad at the obstacle. Obstacle? Just the door, Sigurd. These flowers are useful.
Simnara. I thought I heard the mewing of an Aesir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. <laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You should have stayed in Asgard. Quite well. Better than your woman, at least. Come at me then! Let's finish this! Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you! Shinmara! Damn you to hell! You beat Sinmara? I never dreamed I'd see it. Fate has truly sent us a hero. Fate bends to my will. Now, show me to this shelter of yours. The sign they left us spoke of a hidden path. Look around in the woods. That will set us on our way. symbol, a dwarf mark. It points the way to the shelter. Let's examine the map for any clues. See here, Javi. This is a map of Svartalfheim. You can see the shelter should be nearby. There are other shelters too. We only have a rough idea of their locations. But when you get close, you'll see the signs. I can't wait to see their faces when we arrive. Fimbar, Ro, Old Garot, and his dirty beard. Fimbar still owes me 20 silver from losing at cards. Bet he thought he'd got away with it, too. Remind me never to play you at cards. Ha! The day you part with a coin is the day the sky falls down. Another! We must be getting close. There's a hard path we walk. Well hidden. Has to be, or else the Moosebulls would find it. But day by day, they're learning to read the signs. And once that happens, no dwarf will ever be safe again. Where is the next sign? It should be here! Hidden, perhaps? Let's look around. On our way then. It can't be far now. Follow me. Wait, are you sure it's that way? Have a little faith, Halstein. I know what I'm doing. We are getting closer. Are you sure about that? Yes. We should go left after the next sign. No, no. I'm certain it's to the right. You are mistaken, as usual. Follow my lead.
Might be I took a wrong turn. I told you, didn't I? Less haste, more care. Let's retrace our steps. Yes, yes. This is the right path. The sons of Ivaldi have steered us true. I see it now. Have a little faith, Halstain. I know what I'm doing, Halstain. Oh, shut your face. Who are these sons of Ivaldi you mentioned? Ivaldi is a name well known to me, but he never spoke of children. Yes, he was your slave once, wasn't he? Halstain. Oh, sorry. Perhaps slave wasn't the right word. Uh, your freedom deficient associate? The sons of Ivaldi are those who follow Ivaldi's teachings. We're not all male either, though you can be sure whoever came up with the name was. Ivaldi learned much from the Essia during his time in Asgard. Not least the value of being prepared for unexpected attack. After his return, we set up a network of shelters. Bolt holes in case of disaster. It's thanks to us there are any dwarves left free at all. If freedom's what you can call it. Speaking of which, First order of business is to find the chief and warn him about those moose spells. Else there'll be no one left for us to protect. Sigrun and Halstein! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us! And with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kind of did. And who's this you've got with you? I'm Harvey, called Wolf's Bane. Raven Guard, the High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood. Our scratcher, snot snorter, he of the crusty toe. Javi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtra has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it. Surtra, eh? Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two, get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. Nor I without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. Silica! He must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The moosebells. Aye. They seized the mines and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in Sutra's clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Let's finish off here and then go drink some of You this. shouldn't be here! Me, maybe, but I wouldn't call it sweet. Salutations, Chief! Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is they've got silica. And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weak with envy. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half-decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger's silver. Look around a while, if you like. You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. 
He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. Why are you here? Back again so soon? It seems but a moment since I saw you last. It is said by your kind that time passes swiftly to the beat of hammer on anvil. Aye, and those who say it have never lifted a hammer in their lives. How can I sir? Until next time. Worlds is that terrible stench. Oh, that. It's me. Have you considered taking a bath? You smell like someone vomited on a week old carcass and then shat on it afterwards. No bath will cleanse the stench of shame. Are you here to trade or to add to my misery? Tell me of your shame. <sighs> I was a warrior once, head of the militia charged with keeping law in our village. Then, the Moosebells came. My people looked to me to lead the defense, to give time for the others to escape. But when I saw them... You ran. I hid in the village cesspit. How long I lingered in that unspeakable filth, I'll never know. But when I emerged, it was all over. None survived that day. None but me. So I put away my axe forever and tried to make myself useful down here. But though I struck my skin raw, the smell of that cesspit never leaves me. The mark of my cowardice. My curse. Now, leave for your own sake. Forgive me. I cannot stay here any longer. Off here? Here? Did anyone follow you? Looking good. 
You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurakin. Hurakin? No doubt she flees the wrath of Sutunga and Gunlutha. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hid our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look, we don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is with Sutter and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Sutter can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose spells on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader. They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartilfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I will find the means to save Baldur. Good enough for now. Welcome to Svartalfheim, Harvey.